Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a very special episode, uh, sort of like an initial impression on a fragrance that I've been hunting for so many years. And finally I have it and I just couldn't hold the excitement to go through the whole process and you know, uh, checking it out for a number of weeks. Uh, I'm gonna do the review, uh, like initial impression on this particular fragrance called Bulgari's Man in Black, uh, All Blacks edition. This is a special edition 2015 I think of uh, this perfume right here called Bulgari's Man in Black. This is my 2015 uh, bottle when I bought this in Malaysia. I still have some juice left, but time for a backup bottle getting really expensive now. So I brought all of them together and I want to tell you a story, okay? And the story is going to be a little bit long, so bear with me if you uh, think this fragrance review is a bit too long from the duration. Uh, I do apologize, but I have a lot of things to say about this particular line. Uh, there are a lot of emotions uh, attached to this particular line and this particular fragrance. So right now the time is... Uh, Thing, almost 11 10 44 retro watch and then i woke up a while back so i'll be assisting assisting assisted sorry assisted with my coffee okay uh, because the voice is a little bit down so now where do we start let's start here man in black and some of you will be like uh, that's not where this line started it started here bulgari's man uh, yes i know this fragrance i collected way later uh, in my journey, I started off with this one, okay, because I saw this perfume at one place. Let me start off with this, okay. Uh, Bulgari's Man in Black, what a beautiful looking bottle with this nice little presentation and it just like turns, I think, yeah, to lock the atomizer. Really beautiful fragrance bottle, uh, creation of Alberto Morias. And I think it gets compared a lot to Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb, okay. And I love both of these fragrances, but something about this one, the tuberose, the tobacco, rum, tonka beans, a lot of these things are here, leather. This makes it ultra uber masculine, you know, like really, really beautiful. I just love wearing that. I get great longevity from it. So Bulgaria's man, uh, that was my first experience. Then in time I collected, I had, I think, a couple more in my collection. Uh, right now here I can show you, this is the original Bulgaria's man. Then the extreme, this one is almost finishing, I have a backup bottle. That one is a freshy. Then the Oud Essence. This is like a really sweet, woody perfume. Then Oud Niroli, based on Niroli, freshy. And then I had, uh, this is called Black Orient. I had a, I think this is a test unit, yes. This is not very rare to find. And then Terra Essence. So apart from these, I had Black Cologne, the Cologne version with the silver top. And I also had, I think, Glacial Essence, like a small 15 ml. And then I had uh, the special edition like, like this one. There's a special edition called La Lu edition or something. That is the artwork on the bottle. That one I sold off, okay? So the Black Cologne I sold off. La Lu edition I sold off. Uh, the Glacial Essence I gave it to my dad. That's basically the whole line. And there's also special edition, tattoo edition of this extreme. Couple of them. If I find them, I'll review. But basically, this is the last of the lot I really wanted to review. Talking a lot, you'll understand why. So... 2015, this particular batch, I think, came in like maybe only 100 ml. And it's a bit different, okay? Not the typical presentation of Bulgari's Man in Black. Uh, it says the name. It gives you a card. First of all, let me show you the card. This one is dedication to uh, one of the, I think, the composer of the Hakka song. They perform the dance in New Zealand. I'm not very knowledgeable. Please uh, spare me your bashing because I'm not much, you know, in... The Hakka dance, but the the performance they do before any rugby uh, game, you know. So uh, this is dedicated to the artist who composed the song. That's what I understand. The tattoo in everything, it's uh, the tattoo they wear uh, on New Zealand All Blacks team. Okay, so that's what it says in the card. You can read and take a screenshot, even the small. You can read on it. Okay, so that's the uh, like uh, the special addition to it. The box here is very very beautiful. Here. You can see the tattoo and everything it's really rare i don't think you'll find it easily anywhere it's super expensive and even if you pay a lot of price you won't be able to find it i found it at perfume center one of our shops here in police plaza uh, like uh, gulshan area they were selling it for 110 dollars and they gave me a little bit uh, discount and thank you so much perfume center for uh, letting me have this you know so i'm very very grateful here's the bottle you can see it follows like the same Bulgari's Man in Black bottle, but side by side there are some differences, okay? You can see the difference in design. I like them both. They're same exact bottle, sprayers, everything same. Base, you'll see the stickers and everything. So, 
Maybe you move a little bit so I can create some space here. So this ball is really lovely. It has the gunmetal plate up here. Okay, got the design going on. And this one, it also twists, I think. It should twist by right, yeah, it twists. So when you twist it this way, it doesn't spray no more. So I'm assuming you've never seen any of these bottles before. So I'm doing the review accordingly. So this, yesterday when I posted, I was super excited. Uh, before I start the review, story time. When I had this perfume, I wore this a lot, Bulgari's Man in Black. And I got so many compliments, like people asked me like, hey, this smells nice. And this one is very popular in Bangladesh. People wear it in winter. So basically, you get this nice little boozy rum, uh, leather, I think even tonka, vanilla, uh, then the tobacco makes it a very masculine scent, very mouth-watering scent. It's spicy, sweet, intoxicating, and long-lasting, okay? So now, Man in Black is also very expensive in Bangladesh. I don't know why. Mm. So, as you can see from the collection and then the few ones that I mentioned that I had, check out my review on every single fragrance on YouTube. I have covered them all. This was the last one I wanted to review. This is why this is special, okay? And when you are searching for something for, let's say, since 2015, 16, you know, and then you finally find like a missing piece of the puzzle, makes you very excited. This is what the journey is all about. That's what I said yesterday. It makes me very emotional when I do these reviews, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed. So now, packaging done, uh, price is done. I think the price now you have to pay is about $150 plus if you find it somewhere, okay? And people are searching for it like some of my friends, but they are not being able to find it. Uh, so let's spray this and talk about it. Okay, sprayers are good. Sprayers are good, no problem. So what's so special about this one? So when I wore it, let it settle down. Yesterday I wore it, I gave it two wearings. And when I wore it, it was kind of like a midday, sunny day. Um, it's winter in Bangladesh, but right now not that cold. You can only get some cool weather at night time after the sun sets or uh, early morning, you know, like when you know, the sun is not up yet. So that time, you get some sort of uh, cold weather. So th those are the times to wear it, night time, you know. But uh, I wore it when the sun was up. It was a bit warm. Uh, trust me, even high heat didn't have any problem. I went like four to five sprays and performed really, really well. Longevity is through the roofs, okay. Perhaps not a 10 out of 10, like something like, if you ask me what's the longest lasting from this line, my sadly my bottle almost finished like, I think, 12 ml left, Bulgari Man, Black Orient was the beast mode on me. Okay, that one has the oud and a little bit more serious vibe, you know. But the Men in Black, uh, it didn't perform as much as this one. So apart from the whole line, the longest lasting right now in the performer version is this one, Terra Essence, very modern, spicy, arty kind of a fragrance, fresh. And then also other ones are fine. But Men in Black, uh, it basically, even though this is my first perfume, it started all here. I'm telling you a story, I'm going to go random here to there, everywhere. This one is the ultimate masterpiece from this line also, okay? Why? Because if this was not released, you wouldn't find any of these flankers, okay? So I give a lot of credit, pink pepper, orange. Sorry, my birds are going crazy. If you hear them in background, I fed them. They're now very happy, woke up late, slept all night. So I'm sorry if you hear some noise, but this one, it's also discontinued. Some of, them are, some of these are discontinued. So this one, if you can still find it, I think you'll find a good deal on it, a transparent bottle. It's underrated, it's fresh. You get some sort of a orange, pink pepper combo. And then it's kind of like a fresh watery orange, but the evol evolution of this whole dark line is you get something dark, winter, nighttime. So this is big daddy of all the dark ones in terms of the composition. When I smell this, you get that very sweet, beautiful, uh, boozy note of Men in Black, definitely is there. You get some of the elements that are in Bulgari's Man in Black, but it will change, okay? And I will tell you how it changes, but opening-wise, you will not find that much uh, difference between these two, okay? Especially Man in Black and the All Blacks edition. They smell almost identical. But when you keep smelling it, you know, you realize this is becoming less sweet, and this remains sweet with the tuberose and all that. It has the tobacco, tonka. I think this one still has some of those, but uh, this one, it's focused more on spices and I think the booze is in there but it's more mature like let's say something between say you know those who drink uh, whiskey you know like Shiva's Regal you know I think there's a 12 years edition or 15 years the older one you get like it's much more expensive than the regular Shiva's okay so that's the difference I find between I'm sorry if I got the numbers wrong but you get the idea right so they are the special edition of let's say JD okay and then uh, Jack Daniels and they have the regular 
there's the, there's definite difference in the the taste and also perhaps the maturity or the ingredients or how uh, you know like mature that special editions are this is the special edition okay so first thing you get better performance than man in black by at least two hours i get like man in black like five to six this one pushed me like seven to eight on the close on the skin it's about sixth hour range it kind of becomes very uh, you can see because it was sunny so it disappeared after fifth to sixth hour but overall long view it is pretty impressive it projects people can smell you on my shirt i could smell it after eight to ten hours okay so beastly longevity and that's one reason you to get it but if you like this one and you're a collector i will tell you you will definitely uh, look for this and you'll definitely crave for it because this one on the dry down becomes so much more spicy sophisticated dark the sweetness becomes less definitely you can say it's bulgari's man in black the original dna is in there but they made it like bulgari's black orient they made it wood based this one they made uh, spice centric so if you do like spices a lot and you like the original man in black and you want a little bit better performing version with a nice little bottle these bottles are very pretty by the way this is the one for you so now the ultimate question would be is it worth that money to get it uh, no okay why the reason being if you're not a collector there's no point having bulgari's man in black and then this one and you paid like let's say 60 odd dollars and then you're paying 150 dollars for it not worth it why because when you compare this side by side you don't get that much of a difference just like the price uh, difference okay this is expensive now because it's rare if this was back in the market or they re-released it the price would be almost identical but that is just my opinion my two cents uh, they are not that different from each other they smell pretty much the same dna and same line it's not like wow you get this additional uh, 10 notes that you don't find in this okay you get less notes in this but the spices the sophistication and the dedication and then you know it's dedicated to that new all blacks rugby team and their you know the hakka song composer so it's a tribute right it's a collector site uh, if you find this and this i'd say go for this one first if you don't have anything from this line because this one if you can get it for a good deal no one will have it okay so you'll feel more uh, say unique or exclusive in that way but ultimately uh, it's a really really nice fragrance for collectors and i think i'm so happy my journey sort of like brought me to many many fragrances i was lucky enough to get mark jacobs bang few days back these are the kind of things i live for you know this is what my dream is as a reviewer so overall i'm very happy i could cover it overall the fragrance i would give it like nothing less than 10 because i rate man in black 10 so this is even better in many ways but uh, when it comes to practicality uh, if you can get a good deal get it but if you have to pay like 200 dollars you may feel having this and then you have this for three times more cost it will hurt you a little bit okay but if money is not an issue you can easily collect it okay so this is man in black uh, all blacks edition uh, my review hopefully many other reviewers will find it and review it uh, do let me know how you like it and uh, if you're still searching for it and uh, thanks to all the brothers who said congratulations i found it finally found it i'm very very happy right so yeah i don't know bulgari man in black please guys uh, the price you know in the market i hope it goes down one of my most favorite fragrances of all time right so that's it that's the review today i'll have a couple more reviews then re-upload no i mean up, i'll upload them upload them upload them no breakfast only coffee so far apologies okay take care have a nice day i'll see you soon Bye bye